Brian, in trying to understand the physical structure of the universe, uh, the two poles of order and disorder are very important in physics, in uh, chemistry. Uh, how can we begin to understand what that means, the physics of order and disorder? Well, uh, to some extent, order is something that we, is not very obvious. Um, and was discovered by physics. So there were uh, some things like patterns of waves on water where you can see order directly. But um, physics has discovered that there's order below the surface. Um, a good example is a crystal because, um, well, you see these nice patterns of crystals, but um, uh, uh, X-ray uh, experiments and so on show that there's actually a regular pattern of mm -hmm. atoms. Mm -hmm. So that's one kind of order. Mm -hmm. Um, another kind of order is magnetism. Um, when something becomes magnetic, there are lots of little magnets that are lo Line all lining up. up in the same direction. Mm -hmm. and a third example, which was the, um, uh, in which I worked in myself, was superconductivity, and that's a really a very subtle kind of order. It took 40 years before um, physicists worked out what kind of order that was, but it can still be described in terms of order versus disorder. And um, each of these kinds of orders has their specific manifestations. So um, uh, that, that um, is one pole. Um, disorder is the randomness that we see in certain circumstances, like the molecules of a gas. Mm -hmm. um, they to a first approximation, they're moving about randomly. And there may be kinds of order in between. So there's a kind of order and disorder of the opposite extremes. Okay. Uh, so, so if we trace this uh, chronologically in the history of the universe, let's say from beginning until some future date, you start off with what seems to be almost a homogeneous plasma mm -hmm. uh, with very small variations in it due to quantum effects that later become multiplied. Mm -hmm. And then you have the extreme order we have today uh, with uh, all the different structures we have sitting here and seeing things. And yet that we know over time the process of uh, thermodynamics, uh, entropy will increase, it will be uh, increasing mm -hmm. disorder, and ultimately a, uh, we're told, an, an evaporation of everything, so it's, it's total randomness. Uh, tra trace for me your view of that universal history in terms of order, pockets of or increasing disorder, pockets of order, and ultimate disappearance into, uh, into random oblivion. Um, well, that's how it, how it would go if you didn't have life, and okay. life may be something more complicated. Life may be a source of order. So, and uh, well, life, it would be commonly said, is a product of order, mm. is a product of the process that we have. But are you saying something more that life then can impose on this what seems to be an inexorable process? Can it can exert on that process uh, change? This is what human beings do, of course. They impose order, and the on a very small scale. If we look upon it from universally, yes, I think life may be a, a more universal phenomenon than that. In that, um, there may be some something of a biological character at um, deeper levels where physics gets a bit uncertain. I think it's becoming a bit uncertain because um, that has a biological character and isn't readily amenable to the, the present tools of physics. Well, so that would be a source of um, order more generally. But that's a very radical comment that uh, I would say most of your colleagues, if not almost all of your colleagues, would disagree with. They would say biology is a random product of physics, not that biology has imposed an order on physics. Well, we have to see which fits the... Um, evidence better because there are um, quantum mechanics indicates that observation can 
impose order on what on what something observes and so maybe when we we take that into account we might find that um uh something akin to biology or some kind of observer is imposing order on reality and that would have to be some non-human mm, observer yes, yes. because humans have only been around for a short mm. period of time in terms of universal history so what you're saying is you're you're driving a link from quantum mechanics to quantum mechanics requiring an, an observer uh, to an observer or a biological, using, using the term biological in the sense of a kind of a, uh, a, a, co- a form of consciousness, a, live, a living entity in a very broad definition of living, and th- that that imposed the order on the it, all existence. Yes, that's right. Well, what happens is that physics reaches um, boundaries where things become uncertain, as yeah, it happens. Um, right. Uh, going beyond what's known as a standard model. And it's just assumed that we've got more of the same, but that is just an assumption and maybe right. entirely wrong. Right. And, and, and what you're saying is that at some point there's a change. There's a, you have to look to something else. Yes. And how do you define that something else? Well, it's a theory we're working on. It would have the, um, it would connect with certain universals, um, it's well biology has certain universals like uh, feeding and reproduction and those would be as it were ingrained at the deepest level um what what does that mean ingrained at the deepest level well i see it as things which can act as templates um some kind of basic code just as you make um computer programs from basic units like addition and multiplication. Mm-hmm. So uh, units ideas which can make biology. And so observ- observation would be one of them. But if these requirements are universal, you can imagine that something, some kind of observer would um, have a structure that acknowledged the universality of these processes. Um, a sort of uh, instinct analogy is with um, computers where, um, well, the world of computer software, where particular patterns e- emerge as being important, like file structures and mm-hmm. so on. And, mm-hmm. um, and uh, that's the evolution process where these units are built into computer programs and they, um, the parts then are used in other ways. In the same way, the... Uh, the some level of nature, there may be structures which are so significant that they they're kept, as it were, as a they get selected out for, for importance. So I'm sort of saying that meaning is uh, present at deep levels and, uh, in a way that's not acknowledged by current physics.